Well, good morning and happy Sunday mornings with Mel from Rome, Italy. We are out in the countryside of Italy in an area just outside the wall around Rome where people were buried. They are known as the catacombs. And so my group is going down to tour the inside of the catacombs. So I have a few minutes to bring Sunday mornings with Mel from you from Italy, from Rome. So I'm just going to go ahead and sing a few hymns. And this is very, very just open land out here. There's a road just to the left of me, but there's some ruins. There's nothing else really built around this cemetery and hundreds of people were buried here um, hundreds of years ago. They were sort of undiscovered for hundreds of years and then a farmer found a there were little tunnels down that they gave got air and light down into the catacombs and one of them was discovered. I don't think it would be something I would want to find um, because I would have fallen into them and who would have known where you were? So there's a fly bothering me. That's why I'm sitting in the middle of this cypress tree. So I'm just going to sing a few hymns. And the first one is In the Garden. And it goes, I come to the garden alone While the dew is still on the roses And the voice I hear Falling on my ear, the Son of God discloses. And he walks with me, and he talks with me, and he tells me I am his own. And the joy we share as we tear there none other has ever known we have had absolutely absolutely wonderful weather since we've been here no rain so far I think there's rain in the forecast um, but tomorrow we go to the Colosseum the next day is the Vatican Museum and then we head south oh I got all kinds of branches in my hair um, this week, obviously, I'm not at church. Pastor Dwayne Miller is filling in for me. Miller, um, from Miller's Apple Orchard. And one of the older brothers fills in for me when I'm gone. So it's good to have him filling in for me and just gives me comfort knowing that everything's going on without me. I, am. Um, I'm going to sing another song, and it goes, What a friend we have in Jesus, All our sins and griefs to bear, What a privilege to carry, Everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often for, Fit. Oh, what needless pain we bear Just because we do not carry Everything to God in prayer I'm going to come over here and show you something. If any of you have done any... Um, Bible studies, there's a road that the disciples took into Rome, and it's called the Appian Way, and it is a cobblestone road, and I'm going to just go like this, but it's probably about 15 feet down, maybe, maybe a little less, and that was the road to go into Rome hundreds and thousands of years ago, and it's still there. In the next few weeks, in the past few weeks, I've been talking about kindness. And we've talked a lot about it on the trip, that 
people just get offended by the littlest thing and that people don't mean to be offensive. They're just expressing how they feel in a way that they grew up. And I just think we need to be kind and patient with people. And there's so much hatred out there. And there's a song that goes, show a little bit of love and kindness, never go around with hatred's blindness. Take a little time and reach for joy and wear a happy face. I forget the rest of it. But just be kind. We are having the best time. I mean, there's three people who knew each other, three people who knew each other, and three people who knew each other. And it's day five, and you would think that they were all old friends. So just be kind. Just enjoy. And hey, if you ever want to go to Italy, Ireland, or France, let me know. Um, I am booking up. I'm pretty booked for 2025. But you never know where you could jump in. If you're looking for a place to worship, St. John's United Church of Christ in South Amherst at 204 Leonard Street, where no matter who you are or where you are in life's journey, you're always welcome to be there, whether I'm there or not. A great group of people, and I will be back next Sunday. So God bless you and have a good week.